A McLean woman could be headed to prison for the rest of her life for killing her mother and her sister. Jurors found Megan Hargan guilty of the murders and staging the crime scene to look like it was a murder-suicide. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey has been following this trial from the start and heard what a third sister told jurors about the impact of this crime. A family destroyed over jealousy and money. That's how prosecutors portrayed this case, convincing jurors that Megan Hargan killed her mom and younger sister to get her hands on money needed to buy a new house. It really is just a terrible, terrible shame that uh, this family has to go through all of this and these lives are lost over $400,000. The bodies of Pam Hargan and her 24-year-old daughter, Helen, were found in their McLean home on July 14, 2017. Pam was in the mudroom, shot twice in her head. Helen, upstairs in her bathroom, a single gunshot wound to the top of her head, the rifle wedged between her legs. At first, even police described the scene as a murder-suicide, but they soon learned at the time of the deaths, Megan Hargan had been trying to transfer $420,000 from her mom's bank account, money she needed to close on a new house in West Virginia. Perhaps the most crucial evidence, Helen called and texted with her boyfriend in Texas the morning of the murders, telling him at one point Megan had confessed to killing their mother. She told her boyfriend not to call 911, though, that she was afraid of what might happen to Megan's eight-year-old daughter, who was also in the house. Prosecutors say the decision cost Helen her life. I think it, it would only make sense um, for an aunt to be worried uh, about her niece and her niece's safety. So I think that that adds into the mix and could be uh, one of the prime uh, motivations for her staying in the house. Megan Hargan continues to maintain she's innocent. The middle sister, Ashley, who's expecting a child, testified against Megan during the trial and at today's sentencing told jurors, quote, I haven't been able to sleep for almost five years. I can't explain to you how terrifying it is. My son is going to grow up without knowing a grandmother or aunt. He's robbed of that. Ashley Hargan Gerber declining comment as she left the courtroom today, but her emotions on clear display. As the jury announced both of its decisions, she burst into tears of relief falling into her husband's embrace. In Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey, News 4.